everyone. Today we are here for another e-learning session. I welcome you all to a session on listening skills. As we all know that communication is a very important factor. And out of communication cycle, if you observe, there are four language skills that you use. Out of four language skills, listening is the maximum utilized skill for us, which is including 45% of the entire time that we should be depending on or investing in communicating. 9% is spent on writing, 16% on reading and 30% on speaking. So there is a larger part of our conversation in which uh, which includes 70% of our time in which we are not speaking and we are rather passive agents of following, listening at its most in our conversation. Moving on here by in this session today you will be learning about the purpose of listening. You will be knowing a lot more about listening process. You will discover the steps to develop conscious personal listening style. The major takeaways from the session would include that you will be able to practice how to be an active listener. You will also be able to enhance your listening skills. While we listen, it is important for us to understand that what is the purpose of listening for us. So as we see that uh, primarily most of us are listening because we want to all uh, enjoy, right? We watch TV, we watch music, we watch uh, radio, uh, I mean we listen to radio, we also listen to podcasts and uh, or, uh, you know you call Spotify these days is very popular. So you listen to all these things primarily because you want to enjoy, you want to relax and there is not much of mental involvement there. Right? The next purpose is that you listen for information. When you talk about information, uh, you, are, you are talking about concentration that is needed because you listen to a particular news channel because you want to gather certain information and you want to retain it as well. People watch a discovery channel as well. People um, you know listen to audio shows uh, and radio shows as well which are specifically designed on a particular topic. Okay, And that is the time when you are expected to retain certain kind of information. Then there is the third kind, third purpose for listening which is called critical listening. For uh, um, listening here involves that you should be able to analyze and evaluate. Uh, the purpose here is also to uh, observe if in case as a teacher I am supposed to be giving you some content, you will be analyzing it. You will be trying to make the most of the meaning of that kind of listening. Most of the time when you are also watching news channels, you are listening to the news even on radio primarily for the purpose to look at the what is the current scenario, what is happening. You are going to evaluate on the basis of that what is happening in our economy, what is happening in the temperature, what is happening at the level of global warming. The next is precision learning, listening. When I talk of precision listening, you talk about attention that is given to given at detail. Now, uh, you know, speaker uses various kinds of emotions when the speaker is going to be talking to you. You might find the speaker, uh, speaker's state of mind in the way that speaker is using the voice. If in case he is angry, how is he using the pitch? Is he using a uh, very soft tone to, in talking to you? Is there anything that is a matter of urgency? a matter which cannot be disclosed. So those are things that are uh, referred to when you talk of precision listening. The next point is empathetic listening. Empathetic listening. When I talk of empathetic listening, you might, uh, I might give you a best example when you have met a person, a friend of yours who has just had a breakup and you, you are the uh, person who is giving shoulder to your friend. Right? That is the time when you will be referring to empathetic listening. It requires a lot of concentration and you need to be giving feedback to the person you are listening to. Okay, so and then you know how do you require to be a, to be judgmental there? No, you should not be judgmental there. Then let's move on to talk about listening process. When we talk about uh, the process, uh, the first step is sensing which talks about hearing. So whatever is said, you pick up the sound waves as they hit your, uh, hit your eardrums, right? And uh, as, as in when uh, you follow the first step, you move towards the second step wherein you interpret the message that has been given to you. So for example, if you hear somebody screaming, you understand immediately that it's a matter of fear. 
yeah it's a matter where um, you you are you are the somebody laughing so you understand that you know it, it's a matter where people are making fun they are enjoying themselves if there is somebody who is angry speaking at a very loud pace so that, that's how you interpret the messages the next step is that you examine the statements that have been spoken so how is that message particularly related to you is that a uh, message directly pertaining to your uh, matter or is it pertaining to other people's concern what is it next is responding so when as a listener you are supposed to be responding you will decide to respond in verbal and non verbal ways uh, that which is you will be giving feedback so at present in looking at the global scenario we understand that there are three levels of listening the first one would be internal listening and this is the most commonly practiced um the way in which we talk to ourselves and we also listen to ourselves so what happens is you are thinking of what is happening in me which means what am i thinking what am i feeling what am i saying are we doing that exercise constantly listening to our own inner voice the next level of uh, of listening is that you have focused listening when you talk about what's happening in other person's uh life what are they thinking what are they feeling and what are they saying then at the third level it is about global listening that you might uh, follow wherein you talk about what's happening around the world right so you might uh, talk about what is the atmosphere around you what is happening in the temperature are we referring to global warming okay and what else is it that you should be aware of or that you are becoming aware of after following the practice of listening skills now moving on i would talk about the important steps the first step is hearing which occurs when the sound waves hit your ear and it involves no interpretation or deciphering of the message it is but a prerequisite to listening because if you do not have the possibility of hearing you will not be able to listen here you also get get to notice that you know there are three um, caricatures who are standing there and they are standing in the race course so when you hear exactly at the time start it's then that you start running not before that not after that so importance of hearing is such the next point is that you have to be attending a particular session in order to be able to be listening something as a in a particular context so you need to filter out several messages every day when you sit in a room you have various factors that are there for example you have the noise of fan you have various other possibilities that could be there in terms of you know somebody coming and talking to you in the background so here you filter out the uh, the sound that you want to focus on for instance here today when you are listening to me i'm sure there might be various other noises around you but you are choosing particularly to focus on my words then it could be your messages can be sh uh, shifted out your messages can be filtered and then your message will be heard while you are attentive attentive then you will be able to hear the message and um, you know there are certain white noises that will be able to uh, decipher then next is that you attend there is a common practice that you attend anything and you are attentive most of the time your body is prepared for listening only when you know that there is a personal gain if there is no personal gain probably you will not want to listen to anyone so in an in a relationship of an employer and employee you obviously would want to listen to your boss there is no choice and also for the matter of fact that you know you depend on the person you have to listen to your elders is what we have always heard from elderly people because probably listening is something a skill that we can practice there the most next is understanding so which requires that a meaning has to be there assigned to a particular message here as you see that the person is speaking and the other person also replies back it's not essential if in case you are supposed to be a good and patient listener it would involve language interpretation as well misunderstandings can be avoided by following this step where you are interpreting a particular message in a language it also assigns a level of importance to the message how much importance do you give while you listen to selected people in your life whom you are very close to and there might be many people you don't want to listen to them because you 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 feel that they are either not good speakers or that their points uh, or their what they say is not going to be of that much of importance to you right so it's important that we understand other person's perspective and we are open to the ideas 
The next step is responding. Very important step. In the communication cycle, we have studied about feedback. And here, uh, the feedback that is given to the speaker can be noticed in the two caricatures that are there on screen for you. There is one individual who has the folded hands, but a smile shows at all that he is listening to the other person. The other person, on the other hand, with the eyebrows and the hand gestures, showcases that he is also very much interested in listening to the other person. Then, these uh, responses that you have can be of three uh, can be given in three ways. First, that it could be verbal or non-verbal. They could all where you use hand gestures. You might say that you know you might clap. You might also uh, nod. You might say that okay, I I really agree with you. I disagree with you. You might paraphrase. You might repeat what the speaker has said by using uh, your own words. The other is that you could raise questions. These are the three ways in which you could give feedback. The last and very important step is remembering. That you must be able to recall the information from your memory. You must be able to build relationships and trust. On the basis of if you remember what I said and what is the episode I told you about myself, I will be better able to trust you. Right? The next time as well. Because I know that what I speak matters to you because you have been listening to me. So to improve our listening skills, what should we do? We should be able to concentrate. We should practice good listening intentionally. We should prepare ourselves for listening. Many a times we prepare ourselves for speeches. But how many times do we prepare ourselves for listening? So next time, please prepare yourself for listening. Listening for, listen for the keywords. So make sure when you are, you know, reading, listening to somebody, you have your own set of keywords that you figured out. And that will also help you retain the information. Take down the notes as well. So six key active listening skills that I can tell you include that you shall pay attention. You shall withhold your judgment. We as it is have the whole world passing judgments. Make sure if you want to be a good listener, you are not having any judgments, predecided biases against anyone around you at your workplace. The next thing is that you have to reflect Think about what the speaker has spoken, how much of it makes meaning to you, does it help you uh, uh, solve your uh, queries or you are still curious to know more about certain things that have been added to your uh, knowledge repository. Okay? Then you must be able to summarize and share the information if there is anything good that is that you have to share. Now to improve listening skills, we might also observe that we could practice active listening. While practicing active listening, we must follow a cyclic pattern wherein we must be able to sense. So you, you should not evaluate the person, postpone that evaluation. Maybe once the speaker has spoken enough and you are back home, then you can evaluate the person. Avoid any interruptions that are there. Then maintain the interest. Evaluating is the next step where you empathize with the person and organize the information. The next step is responding, where you show interest and clarify the message. Right? Just in case you have, uh, how much of it you have understood, or you might paraphrase or rephrase or have questions to ask the person. Now I have some guidelines for effective listening for you. When I say um, guidelines, I am going to be very particularly in brief tell you about 10 tips that will help you improve your listening skills. The first tip is that you should stay focused. The next is that detect the emotions. Tip three, ask questions. Tip four, do not interrupt in between. Tip five, don't preempt. Tip six, recap the key facts. Tip seven, you should always have a pen and paper to note down what the other person has to tell you. Tip eight, you should say it again. So paraphrase, rephrase. Tip 9. Watch the stereotypes that are there. Don't be judgmental. Tip 10. Be aware of listening barriers that are there. With that, I will be thanking you for being a good listener for this video lecture. And I will leave you on a note wherein you can remember that the more practice you get, the quicker your skills will improve. And here in particular, I am referring to listening skills. Try and practice to be patient listener next time and you shall be able to follow the rules and regulations that I've just shared with you and you have more things coming up your way on listening skills in the next lecture. Until then, take care. Thank you.